here at the All and Money Conference in London. Investment in future production is a key focus here. With me now is the President of the Administrative Control and Transparency Authority of Qatar, Abdullah bin Hamad Al Atiyah. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's start off with uh, what you were talking about in the conference. You said you, you, you don't like forecasts. We're talking about global growth and how that will impact consumption and demand. You know, what is your best guess at what the next 10 years will hold? I, I think, you know, when I said, you know, I never, you know, I, I don't trust the you know, forecaster because for the last 40 years, I am in the energy business, you know, and the last 20 years, I was the Minister of Energy in Qatar, you know. I participate in hundreds of conferences, you know, or, ex, you know, and different, you know, uh, you know, and uh, different, you know, conferences, you know, either, you know, officially as OBIC and OABIC or even with kind of this conferences, you know. Always we hearing, you know, the forecaster, you know, saying, you know, oh, in five years, 10 years, 20, 20 years. But we never, you know, for my last, if you ask me for the last 40 years, none of this forecaster was right. I mean, a few years ago, the for, all the forecasters saying to us, USA is uh, face a sh big shortage of gas. And the price of gas, you remember, of uh, gas is reached 17 dollars for the million. So we decided, you know, with our partners as ExxonMobil and others, you know, to build a big terminal in Texas, the Golden Bass. Just in within two years, the the gas, you know, uh, you know, the shale gas was by surprising in the United States, you know, uh, to be uh, dominated, and, and the gas price was pulled down even below two dollars. It's very strange, you know, where the forecaster just in the short term, they don't even, you know, forecast what will be happening. Just in, in two years, they, you know, their calculation, it was uh, correct and correctly. This is, I have to be very carefully because sometimes, you know, in my experience, forecaster use it otherwise, you know, or turn, you know, to be uh, influence in the demand and supply or in the price of gas or in oil. So the speculation always related to the, you know, in how to create this forecaster, you know. So this is what I, my experience, I, that, you know, uh, you never trust in speculation because, you know, or, or in forecaster, you have to, the market has changed very dramatically. Sometimes they say the oil price will go down, we can, finally we can see it, oil price go up. Sometimes, you know, they say that the demand and supply is changing by dramatically. And of course, you know, you know a lot about gas because you, you know, were one of the big powers behind Qatar's uh, uh, gas push. Given what we know now, do you think um, demand for gas is going to outstrip oil in the next 10 years? Well, I think, you know, the demand, you know, no, still the oil will be more important and the oil still will continue, uh, you know, to be an, an, an important, you know, uh, supply of energy. Because I can see the oil, the oil, uh, the demand in, you know, for instance, in gasoline and diesel and so, will be huge in the emerging countries, not in the OECD country. And today, if they're shared 24 percent, by 2030, they will reach 40 percent of this demand. So we will see the oil products; it will be continuing, you know, strategic. But also, gas, because today we have to segregate. What, you know, if you know transportation and other will demand in product in oil, but also gas, especially in the power sector. Now, how much is this down to? We talked a lot about the script of players in the oil industry changing. So, key exporters are now being key consumers. And yeah, yeah key this is a normally because we, if you can see Indonesia, it used to be you know oil producer. Now they are. Yeah, oil importer, and even now they are thinking to uh, import LNG. So we can't, you know, we can't see they are, they are what they call it, uh, trading places. You know, that uh, you used to be you are producers, and now you are consumers, and used to be you are consumers, and now you are producers. Now even though now we are seeing that we hear that, and we seeing that United States may uh, already they give some one license, and may we give different uh, another uh, license to export LNG from the United States. So this is, yeah, normally, you know, you can see a different uh, playing, a different rule, and this is normally that we can 
see how, you know, because you remember years ago, China was export oil. Now they are import oil. So this is normally uh, of the changing of the thing. Of, is, is OPEC concerned by this change of script? No, no, I don't think so. OPEC is concerned because this is not OPEC business, you know, because whatever who become, you know, Indonesia walk out of OPEC because they say, frankly, they say we are not more exporter oil. And this is exporting country organization. So they walk out. And I say, good, you know, but this is normally what maybe newcomers to come to OBIC in the future. Let's talk about investment because all the oil analysts I speak to are, um, they want to know, you know, what OPEC and what oil producers are thinking about investment for future oil production. Is there this thrust at the moment? Is there a big focus? You see, there is no more easy oil. The easy oil era is over. And now they are, you know, if you are looking for oil, you can see a deep water oil or sand oil or heavy oil or whatever you can, uh, sh or shale, uh, shale oil or so. But Saudi has been quiet about, yeah. you know. And any development, yes, it needs a lot of finance and need a lot of, you know, financial support, you know, to, uh, you know, to invest in this difficult oil. Are the but, talks to get this finance already happening? Yeah, I think, you know, stage? I think, you know, today, you know, the national oil companies and international oil companies, I don't believe they have any difficulty in financing, you know, today. Uh, because most of this easy oil is discovered by companies, by not by uh, uh, countries. And uh, mostly, you know, all these international and national oil companies, even jointly you now, today we can see a coalition with the different companies. You know, they are not, no, no more they are competing here, here, but also they work together in this difficult oil because they need a lot of support, technical and financial. So we never see a shortage of finance, you know, when they are confident that uh, they can discover this oil.